just going to take. And then we'd go home and watch it and tell me it's okay because, you know, that's hundreds. But then I have to switch off the light. It's going to be You see, the thing is, you can't see what's on there. Oh, well. What can we do? I can't. No. Oh, but see, I don't want the video. Is this the video? No, I don't want that. I don't want that. I just want the normal. I just want this. Okay. So I don't know now if it's visible. From here. The second one. Ah, there we go. So I mustn't stand in front of it because then it, it tries to focus on me. Okay, so where did I put my answers? Somewhere. Okay, I'll just use this one. All right, so. Oh, Priyasha, sorry, we forgot. I forgot to switch on Google Meet. But we were just talking. I just handed out all the worksheets. Can you hear me? Priyasha? Okay, good. We just handed out all the worksheets and I just said um, the ecology and all the stuff that you did in the beginning of lockdown, we'll go back to in term three. And I just handed out the worksheets and we looked at, we're now going to go over osmosis number two. Okay, so cells, okay, cells, osmosis and cancer and all of that will be in your cycle test on the 14th or 16th of July. And what else did we say? Oh, the Socrative on Thursday is just on mitosis and cancer, but that I've got on the classroom. Okay, we'll just be a short one, just for fun. Well, not for fun, I'll still see the mark, but yeah. Okay, we'll give you an idea of how, how things are going. Okay, I must not stand here. All right. Okay, so this is the, oh, this is the wrong thing. This is mitosis. Oh, gosh. We're looking for our mercy. Osmosis 2. Okay, let me put that out. You run out of time, it's fine. Oh, that's too much. Oh, no issue. Okay, marking osmosis. Let's just see which is the one. Osmosis 2. Here we go. No. That's my process. Okay, it's not here. So we need to pull up the test. So you were given four little test tubes. Oh, I mustn't stand there. Okay, so then you were given four little test tubes. People, when I do questions like this, even when I'm marking, because I'm looking, have, what information have I given you? What are the variables, the independent, dependent, and what are the controlled variables? You've got to underline things. Okay, so it says four potato cylinders. Now we've got a little chipping machine. You can make chips and try them. We've got that here. And we would give you four and say, right, cut them to the equal length. Although this, this question also talks about equal mass at the end. So they have equal length and then they weigh them at the end to see how they change. So I suppose they could have weighed them at the beginning as well. I only realized that while I was marking. All right, so you've got four potato chips and they should all be the same. So which variable is that? They're all the same length initially, control. That's Initial link, that is the controlled variable. And they were placed in a sugar solution of different concentrations. So what is that? Independent. Independent variable. Alright? So they had the same, okay, so they had different concentrations of sugar solution. Alright, so that is the independent variable. Alright, then they said the test tubes were labeled, they had equal volumes. Of solution. So what is that? Control. Controlled variable. Okay, so equal. Do 
we need the lights on. You can open blinds. Is it too dark? Mm -hmm. Okay. So equal volume is another controlled variable. Um, and they were left for 24 hours. So that is a controlled variable. And then they were weighed again using an electronic mass meter. Which variable is that? Dependent. How much they weigh at the end depends on how, how, different, how they change by being placed in different concentrations. Concentration means um, the strength. Okay? Did ma'am show you, I had little beakers here with red food coloring from dark to light. I did that, okay, that's just what I do. So if I, how many of you drink Oros? Or something like that, okay? I don't, I don't like that, all right? So if I make Oros and it's really, really strong, but then I dilute it. So if, I'm, if I put less in the second one, but I put more water and less in the next one and more water, maybe just, a very weak solution. That's concentration. Very strong oros, medium, weak, very weak, but you hardly taste it. That's concentration. So you mustn't you mustn't get confused between concentration and volume is the same. We don't like the word amount, but they're the same amount or volume, the moles. Okay, that's the volume. Am I is, do you want me to go through this or do you know all this already? I'm just gauging. Okay, I'm not quite sure. All right, so they were in different concentrations of solution. Okay, so now if we go up, so instead of, uh, what was the first one? The first osmosis worksheet, what was it about again? Oh, it was a little bag, and then you had to see which bag increased or decreased in size, pretending like it's a salt. Okay, so here they weighed the little cylinders at the end, and please call them potato cylinders. They're not potatoes. You can try and put a whole potato in that, that test tube. You're not going to manage. Okay, think of silly things like that. It's a potato cylinder. Sometimes we call them potato chips. But it's not the whole potato. All right, so then this graph, I just don't want this. Every time I stand in front there, it goes out of focus because it focuses on me. Okay, so over here, you've got a graph. And this is a nice graph because it's got no change in mass and you've got an increase and a decrease in mass. So, question number one, state the dependent variable. Dependent is what you measure at the end. It depends on what you had at the beginning. We had at the beginning different concentrations of solution. Strong OROS, okay, up to very dilute, or that was a sugar solution. Okay, the dependent variable is? The change in mass. Not just mass. So, I didn't give two marks if you just said mass. It's the change in mass. Okay, the answers aren't here, all right? Then, in what unit could you measure um, the mass of potato cylinders be measured? Grams, and I said, some people said milligrams, but if you think about it, if you look at the side, um, like a tuna can or something, they talk about milligrams of vitamins or micrograms. That's really small. So grams here, not kilograms. That's a really big unit. Then you, you have a whole bag of potatoes, okay? Um, so grams. Say three variables that would be controlled. So try, when you get a question like this, label the variables. So our variables that we that were controlled were what? We had lots of them. The Read volume. Off. The volume of what? The sugar solution. The same, try and use the word same. The same volume of sugar solution in what? Each test, test, test tube. tube. Okay, what else? So we've done this one. The length of the length of the potatoes the same. What? Potato? Cylinder. cylinder. The initial length of those potato cylinders in millimeters was the same. I mean, they could have weighed them as well. All right. What else? The weight of each potato cylinder in the beginning. Okay. Although they didn't say it, but yes, so because they had the same length, the tuna had the same in mass. Remember, mass, not gravity. Hey, eh? mass. And then lastly, that they were all left in their solutions for, don't just say the time, they were all left in their solutions for the same amount of time. And 24 hours, put that in, because in grade, you know, from now on when we do facts, you get two marks for each of these, not just one. Okay, should I go over the rest of this tomorrow? Yes, please. Okay, so I will finish that tomorrow. 
And yeah, we need to just kind of finish off mitosis and um, the cancer when mitosis goes wrong. And then later on, we'll start the plant tissue this week, possibly. Okay, I'll have a look at see how many left we have. All right. Please remind me to put these things on, or else I'm going to forget.